Hello, this is Rip with IMSI Design, and I got a question from a user about uh, dimensioning in uh, model space and also in paper space. Uh, the first part of the question was about paper space, that some of the dimensions were, uh, were not showing the correct uh, lengths, and then uh, how to set the work plane correctly when dimensioning in model space for a 3D object. So let's take care of the uh, paper space uh, first. So um, as we see here, there's some dimensions drawn in paper space. If we select the viewport, we can see all the dimensions that highlight blue are associative to the uh, object in paper space. So we can zoom in here and see that these ones that have remained blacked, uh, black are not. And uh, if you want to see why, it's because it uh, looks like there's some extension lines that have been uh, drawn manually. Uh, so what we're going to need to do here is uh, redraw these dimensions. And uh, so I can see he's trying to go from this point here to this point here. So let's go ahead and delete this dimension. And I'll choose the parallel dimension tool. And I'll go from this one to here, drop it. Oh, see, now it's the correct length. And if I select it, uh, you'll see that it highlights blue. But wait, it's not at an angle that I really want here. So what we can then do is use the rotated dimension tool. So we'll go ahead and delete this one. And so I can go, um, I can even use this little extension that he's drawn in here as kind of a guide for when I'm using the rotated dimension tool. So go grab rotated dimension. So it says define the extension line direction first point. So that's going to be right here and draw the extension line second point. That'll be at the end of this little point he's already drawn here. And then the origin of the uh, first extension line, which is going to be this, the point where we want to dimension from in the first place. So again, that's going to be right in this corner here. And I'm going to want to, if I get a choice, I always want to snap to the viewport because I want it to be associative to the viewport. Then I'll go up to the corner here. Now I can drop the dimension. Not only is it the correct length, but it is nice and parallel to the uh, object the way he wanted it to, to be. So again, I can select. I can see, yes, that this one is associative. I look at the one on the other side that's not, and you see, wow, it's, it's much bigger, so that's the wrong length. So that's how you, uh, uh, so as long as you use the snaps or the segment dimensioning uh, and you snap to the actual objects in the viewport, uh, then the uh, dimensions will be associative uh, to, the, uh, to the viewport. All right, now for the second part of uh, the question, I'm going to go use a different drawing file. I'm going to use this uh, bo box as it's going to be much easier to visualize what's going on here with this object. Uh, than the original drawing. So, um, okay, so first I'm just going to go to a top view and do a dimension. It's going to be real straightforward. I dimension one side, then the other. And so, what do I need to do to dimension a front view? So, I'm going to go to the front view. I'm going to do, I'm going to set the work plane by active view. Well, that's real nice and easy, but the dimension is way far away from the object, and that's not what I wanted. So I'm going to go back to that front view. I'm going to try, okay, let's try by facet. So choose by facet. And while that worked out this time uh, very well, that's something you can try as work plane by facet. In a lot of cases, it will not work. A lot of times work plane by facet will end up... Um, upside down backwards or uh, there's also uh, or upside down or backwards or both and that's because you know the, the different faces might uh, interpret that work plane differently so the surefire way of creating a, um, a work plane in the direction you want to do is to use work plane by three points so I can go ahead and you know, go right click I'm gonna get work plane by three points so I'm gonna choose my origin for the coordinate system which is real easy in this case since I've got this uh, this box, I'm going to click this corner, and so I'm going to choose uh, to find the 
x axis so x is going to be left to right so I'm just going to go over here and it's going to say to find the y axis and so z is going away and so now when I dimension it is nice and perfect and everything's there so if work plane by facet does not work uh, you can always do work plane by three points to uh, get your dimensions the way you want them in model space uh, if you have any other questions, please send an email to support at imsidesign.com. You can also visit us on the web at uh, turbocad.com. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.